we have here are two of the best off-road mid-size trucks you can currently purchase. That's right, baby. In North America, these two represent some of the best off-road vehicles out there that happen to be mid-size trucks. And what do you have? This is a 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. And behind me is the brand new 2018 Chevy Colorado ZR2. And these are the top five differences between these two off-roaders. Which truck is best for you? That's coming right up. It's never been a secret that I love Toyota Tacomas. I've owned them before. I've actually driven almost every single one of these types of trucks off-road. Love them. And this is where it all starts. This is where the good stuff begins. This is a 3.5 liter V6 that puts out 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. It's hooked up to an automatic transmission, a six-speed, and this has a fairly sophisticated off-road system. Now, here's the interesting part. It puts out 18 miles per gallon city, 23 miles per gallon highway, 20 miles per gallon combined, and it is more efficient than that V6 Chevy. Also, this has an option for manual transmission. First of all, we're doing 0 to 60 times using the Solo DL, but we're doing this just as kind of a measure to kind of give you a gauge of where these trucks are at. Keep in mind we're a mile above sea level, so these times are going to be slower than your times, maybe even a second or so. He's got more power and more torque, but my truck's 300 pounds lighter. Got a little bit of a jump there on him. Oh, yeah, I pretty much just wanted that. This is fast. 9.36. 9.36. I got a little jump on you, sorry. That's okay. I, there's, they're really close. They're really close, but 9.36. Okay, that's pretty quick. Hey, Nathan, you did a 0 to 60 on that truck by yourself. What'd you get? I got 9.7. Under the hood of the ZR2 is a 3.6 liter V6. It's been completely reworked for 2017 and it produces 308 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque. That's a lot more than in the TRD Pro. It's made it to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Yes, there's no 6-speed manual option, but altogether the fuel economy in this truck is not as great as I expected. 16 mpg in the city, 18 on the highway, and 17 combined. Hmm, this truck may be just a little bit too heavy, and those tires are a little bit too beefy, but that helps off-road. The other way in which CR2 is special is he has a fully redesigned front end, fascia and bumper cover. I've got some rock sliders on the side and a front skid plate, but for example, the exhaust system all exposed, the transmission is exposed. There is, I would like a little bit extra protection underneath. These vehicles have a few things in common, of course, but they have a lot of things that are not in common, including suspension. This has a spool valve style shock, similar to F1 cars. This has Fox shocks. Both are excellent suspension systems, but the Toyota actually on paper is superior to the Chevrolet when it comes to ground height, approach angles, departure angles, and breakover angles. That's right. This is actually, in some ways, on paper, better off-road. So some of you have probably seen the old video we had with this vehicle going up, the uh, cliffhanger 2.0, and it made it, although it did have some difficulty at the end. At the very end, it kind of exploited its two biggest issues. One, tires, and two, the lack of having a locking front diff. Now, in my opinion, that shouldn't be a game killer. Okay, we've covered the engines, we've covered the suspension systems, but the most important things are the tires. And in this case, interestingly enough, both trucks have Goodyear Wrangler tires, but the Tacoma has the all-terrain adventure tire with Kevlar sidewall, 
And this is more of a street bias tire. It's not very good in loose dirt and sand. On the other hand, this Duratrack has beefy lugs and it's not too bad in snowy conditions either due to these sipes. Ooh, I did touch a rock. The problem with this trail is there are a lot of loose rocks. And uh, I don't think I have a problem with traction. I have a problem with clearing the rocks. But I haven't lost traction yet. I haven't got stuck. Okay, I'm getting out of there. This is the hardest part. On tires. I got it. No problem. Just a little pause there. Power, it's your only way to go. Put your foot down and then just hold on. I really wish I didn't have to do this. Come on, baby. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That was awesome. Good. Good. I think airing down helped a little bit, but there's still a lack of traction. I have to address an elephant in the room. What? No, it's not you, dude. <laughs> the Chevy ZR2 has not one, but two lockers, front and rear, and that's very important for hardcore off-roaders. The Tacoma only has a rear locker, but the Tacoma has crawl control system that helps drivers negotiate very difficult terrain. Okay, here I go. If I pick a good line, I'll be able to tackle it. Ooh, touched another rock. A lot of these rocks are actually loose and I'm thankful for these side rock sliders because they're protecting the side of the body and if I actually go up enough and actually climb over without damaging anything then I can actually do it. Ah, uh, yes! Got it! There we go! Yes! Lots of momentum. That's the Nathan approach. The Toyota is smaller in many ways. It is lighter, that's one thing, about 300 pounds, and almost every dimension is smaller than the Chevrolet. Hell, you can really see it when you're looking at it, just visually. How big this cab is versus this cab. This is a much more comfortable vehicle to get in and out of, I can tell you that for sure. It also has a lot more usable space inside. They're very different trucks in that respect, but if you like a small truck, this is where you should be looking. So while this is running, try to get up to 16. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. This is actually doing pretty well. All right. Well, let's see what our squad is on this TRD Pro Tacoma. Look at that. We're just a little over 34. So this only squatted two inches, which is pretty impressive with an off-road suspension. Well, I'm not in love with the engine. I used to love Toyota engines. This new one, which is direct injected, is not as uh, flexible as some of the competitors in my book. You like the four liter better than this one? Yeah, I do. Okay. I like I like that big beefy one. It, it it felt like it was it had a lot more to give. It looks like we got some vehicles braking and we're losing an extra lane. Yeah. Sooner. So right about now. Yeah, it's weird infrastructure right at the tunnel. All right. This is 807.53, so let's see here. It's pretty good. 
better yeah. than I thought it would be, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, here we go. We're measuring a squat on a ZR2 Colorado, and it's actually about two and a quarter. Which, again, that's really good on a sports suspension. That's what this is. It's an off-road suspension. Yeah. We're almost there, and by the way, I think we're going to beat quite a few records because it's at 755. Wow. And we are done. Yeah. <laughs> Eight minutes. What's our fuel mileage? We're 5.2. That's a pretty good race. They're very close. Eight minutes, pretty much flat. Yes, for $3,000 extra, you can get a 2.8 liter Duramax diesel under the hood for more fuel efficiency. Yeah, these are two very different trucks that have a lot in common. So it's going to be really interesting to see what they do in the future off-road head-to-head. Yes. These are competing for 2018 Gold Hitch Off-Road Award, and you will see a lot more of these on tfltruck.com coming up very soon. See you guys.